If you're running your own company or you're considering starting your own company, this video might be interesting for you. I am a Chaldean pneumologist and I am going to go through my own example of my own company, which I've had since 2013 and what happened uh, if I look at it from perspective of pneumology. Because when I started out my company, I didn't work with pneumology at all. I started without healing and all these kind of things that work with feng shui and creating luck through the environment. So the first name I had was Center for Holistic Energy Healing. And I had very little knowledge about neurology, but I had some sense of it. So at least I had uh, names that was quite good. And I actually was quite lucky. I also had a great start date. I started on the 15th of uh, August in 2013, which is a fairly good start date. It's not optimal, but it's not the worst I've seen. And I also had a fairly good uh, theme of life. So this is like when you combine all the numbers here, this creates a theme sort of what uh, the life of the company is directed for, uh, the journey of the company. So what this uh, company, the first four years was about is that I got support from people who um, saw some potential in me. It was a very loving company. Uh, it was seen as very loving and very compassionate. Uh, but there were some issues like uh, I wanted to really grow and grow fast and grow big. But it was like small incremental growth. It wasn't very big. And if you look down into the vocation, like what you, how you feel in the company and also the personality, how it looks from the outside, I was very spiritual. It was very about meditation, but wasn't really a very good salesperson. So it worked in some aspects, but it didn't really create a lot of um, income for the company. And the growth was just, wasn't that fast. So when we came to 2017, I started to know a little bit more about pneumology. So I've changed the name of the company, which is quite easy to do in Denmark. So I had all these green numbers here, so all these balance numbers. And I didn't know about the main uh, numeroscope, so I didn't know about like how they connected with the, the starting date. So what it created was, it created uh, some issues with boundaries and people uh, taking too much of my time and effort compared to what I got out of it. So it's like people contacting me at middle of the night and writing me to my personal Facebook or uh, just wanting more and more and more and was never enough. So there was the boundaries was not very, very good with this um, numeroscope. But overall, I was quite lucky again. I think that might be because of my feng shui work and also that I just knew slightly more about the energies in numerology. I started to get more attention. The company started growing faster, uh, but especially the boundaries and being taken uh, care, like taking the benches off. So it's like when people have this number, they are probably very good coaches and then they um, end up sort of destroying their own careers because it's too draining for them. They get stressed out because of this. So even though they are a lovely person and they're very uh, warm it's just too much work for them so then I started the education and the training as an neurologist um, and I didn't know about the vocation numbers down here that creates how you feel and also the personality number like what other people perceive of your company and they're very important for uh, both your revenue and growth of the company I didn't know about that yet but I started the company, I changed the company's name here in 2018. Uh, so it was completely clean here. So it's a very loving company, we wanted to change, very charismatic. Uh, and again, the growth increased in 2018. I started to get more publicity, started to get more in the media. Also because of these two numbers down here. Um, so this is a number that really attracts attention in a good way when it's balanced, but in a negative way when it's unbalanced. And also this number creates a lot of uh, attention. But still I had these um, very spiritual perspective, like things look like um, I, I wanted to go international, but it didn't really go because this number also creates fear or uh, thinking of 
you're afraid to do the things that you want to do with these numbers. So not perfect. Then in October of 2018, I finally found out about vocation numbers and personality numbers. And I changed the name of my company and within three weeks, I tripled my income. So that was sort of my, uh, it sparked my interest in it because if this changed in just three weeks and I didn't do anything else besides changing my name of my company. Um, so it was really interesting and I could really see that, um, um, my company got more attention and more clients and it felt more harmonious. And also, uh, I started to figure out what worked and what didn't work. There were still some minor issues like the 11 two here, one plus one equal two, the square here, it still created some issues with the uh, with boundaries, but it was a lot better. Um, in general, very, very good. This one, um, I'm very pleased with it because I got a lot of people trying to support me and I was getting out to, um, to a lot of people. And then the final change of names in 2020, where I changed my name of my company again. And this time I was doing it to get the best destiny roles. So there are destiny roles are energetic periods of time where you are more supported in, for example, work or making an income or whatever. Like if you have a person changing your name or person, it could be uh, health and relationships. So different things you can see in the company. And, uh, I got even more balanced. So I started getting, um, interviews, getting podcasts, um, TV, um, um, the newspapers, so different things started to show up here. And even though 2020 for most companies have been very terrible, it's actually not been that bad for me. It's just been very stable and still growing. So that's kind of what you get when you have to support of numerology, you get like a lifeline or something that's holding your company even through crisis. So it doesn't go all wrong. So you still have to work for it. You still have to do all these uh, marketing and selling, but you just get more support. It doesn't have to be that hard. You don't have to drive up a hill with your brakes on. So this is more optimized energies. So you don't have to change your name of the company like five times as I did or four times as I did. Um, you can get it in one go, but this was just because I didn't know at the beginning about everything about neurology and only after I started training and got the whole education, I could really see how it worked together. And also, um, I started seeing the effects of it. So it's quite obvious that this works and I don't know exactly why it works, but in the quantum field, who knows what exactly works. It's just, um, intention, energy, and the whole universe is based on numbers more or less. You can also, also see it in computers, which is just one and zeros. So um, you can describe the world through numbers a lot. And um, this is what I'm like have right now, the company. And if you want to start, if I had the option to go back in time, like, of course, I got a lot of experience from it. But if I had to do it differently and go back in time, I would find the proper starting date. Okay, this is in Danish. I didn't translate this. <laughs> um, but getting the right starting date. Um, at the right starting date is there's certain dates that are easier to grow your company with. There are certain dates that um, has a world conqueror or a money triangle. For example, Coca-Cola has a lot of world conquerors. So you can see that company was started on a very good date because it went out all through the world and conquered the world with its products. So if you want that, you can get that from certain dates. There's not a lot of dates during the year, but there are certain dates that are very good. So what, if you're considering starting up a company, it's a very good investment in starting with the proper starting date. And in Denmark, you can't change the starting date unless you close down the company and then open up again. And it's probably the same in different countries. Um, 
but it's very easy to change the name here in Denmark when you've started up. But I think in other countries it's more difficult, but it's for free to do in Denmark. So I would just start out, find a trained neurologist in Chaldean neurology, and then find someone that you trust in, that you like, and uh, contact them and get the best uh, name for the company. And what is important is what is registered with. So even though you called your company something else on the outside to your clients and customers, what's important is that the collective energy that's collected in the official register has to be uh, the correct neurology, uh, neurological name. So that's the important thing. So even though I'm called this in the official register, I'm called something else to my clients and customers. And it works still um, because we have this collective field in the official register and that's where the most energy is. So even though if you have a different name on Facebook, it has some importance. Uh, and even though you have um, uh, your signs in a different name, it has some importance, but it's most important to have um, the correct name in the official register of the companies. So you could also um, start up your social media on the right date. So YouTube, if you're considering making a YouTube channel or it could be an Instagram or Facebook page, you just start from the perfect uh, foundation instead of having to create from a foundation that's uh, a bit shaky and it's difficult and it's like tough. And even though it's always tough to start up your own company and you have to do a lot of work and be courageous and um, have the perseverance to continue, you can get it easier than just um, by doing it without this support. So if you have a good foundation with great feng shui in your company and you have great pneumology and it just really supports you in creating uh, the best brand, uh, stable revenue uh, or growing, uh, even in crisis times. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you want to learn more, just subscribe for my channel here. There's a link below the video. And my name is Simon August, and you can also sign up for my newsletter and find out what is your personal best directions in Feng Shui. And that also helps you to create more abundance into your life. So all my love, have a wonderful day.